back on the XJ project, doing a little work on this thing, getting it ready actually to sell. It's going on the block here. I've got myself a new Jeep, so uh, it's time to get this one fixed up and on the road. As you can see, I've done a little bit of work here. I uh, just painted up all the bumpers and uh, rock rails and everything. One of the key reasons I went with uh, just trim clad on, uh, on the bumpers and that so it's easily repairable. If you take a look back on the other videos, you can see this looks a whole lot better now than what it did before. So quick and easy, a little bit of sandpaper, a little bit of paint, We're back on the road looking, looking fresh and new again. So uh, today I wanted to take a look at the steering here. This is one of the major modifications that I've done. Uh, the, the factory steering there is obviously a little on the weak side once you get into larger tires. So I have completely replaced it with a tie rod and drag link system that doesn't have the Y down at this end. It's drag link straight to the, to the knuckle there. And with much heavier, uh, much heavier tubing, seeing as I bent up my tie rod one day. And I've gone with Heim joints on these here. So um, the, main, uh, the main focus of this is the brackets here. Let's see if I can get some light on that. So these brackets I built myself. I uh, more or less pirated the design from uh, an unnamed source that's uh, commercially producing these things. And um, there's uh, just a bolt that goes through the existing uh, drag link hole and then uh, that's a uh, piece of one inch stock that's welded to a piece of quarter inch plate that goes back and and uh, bolts into the the original uh, hubs uh, the bolts that hold the hub on it goes through the back of them there's three bolts there so I found this to be extremely sturdy haven't had any problems at all and then at the end of that uh, one inch stock there I've got a bolt going through which bolts the heim joint on and uh, that extends the basically the the radius or the the fulcrum point for uh, for turning the tires so it gives you a much easier and slightly slower steering you don't notice the slowness but it makes the steering very nice and light up here is the uh, um, pitman arm up there which you can see is loose because I've got some wear in the pitman arm and I've got to replace it so I've just got it holding up there my bolt gently and at this end as you can see I've got the uh, I've got the drag link on top and the tie rod on bottom same knuckle uh, apparatus there that's just bolts right on so I had to drill out the taper in uh, in the knuckles there and um, just run a straight bolt through there I went through a couple different modifications on it I had a uh, a smaller bolt through there I think 9 16 and I wanted to upgrade so I went to 5 8 if I recall correctly with those uh, with those heim joints so for the material that I used here I uh, I got the weld in bungs and the uh, the little adjusters there with the right and left hand threads it worked good and um, for the steel I used hydraulic tubing it's plenty strong it's heavy wall it's not uh, Fancy Pants DOM tubing, but uh, it's, uh, it's worked pretty well for me. It's not super, super, super uh, brittle or hard. It bends, so uh, it's got a little bit of give, which uh, is a good thing on the trail. You can bend it right back without too much trouble. The uh, track bar there, you can see I've built a new bracket, and I've got the steering stabilizer bolted in where the old track bar went. So that corrects the, the steering geometry with the, uh, the point of, of connection at that end there being raised up to the top of the knuckle. I, uh, I also had to raise the track bar there as well. So that's the steering.